1942, Tanzania, a boy was born. His name, John Stephen Aquari. He was 160 centimeters high and weighed around 50 kgs. On October 20th, 1968, in Mexico City, the Summer Olympics were being held. The marathon, in fact, on that day. On that day, John Stephen Aquari had created an impression that would last far more than that day. It would travel through history. You see, on that day, 74 people started the race, but only 57 completed it. And guess what? Indeed, John was one of the 57. This achievement alone was great. He made for the group of people who actually finished the race. But wait, there's more. Of the 57 people that completed the race, I wish I could say that John was remembered for coming first, because he didn't. John had actually come last. But wait, there's more. John didn't just come last. He was over an hour late after what the officials had thought was the last person crossing the finish line. In fact, he was so late that they had already moved on to the ceremonies of awarding the medals to the winners. The spectators were beginning to leave the stadium when they heard that there was still another runner heading towards the stadium. John was hobbling along, finally getting to the stadium to continue the stretch to the finish line. John had got injured along the way, having hurt his knee. In fact, he had dislocated his knee. He had a bloody leg, bandaged, and he hobbled into the stadium and marched on like a champion. Finally, he crossed the finish line and finished the race, last and fashionably late. But John crossed the line. He could have easily given up, but he didn't. Can you imagine that?